Hey, what's going on, everybody? Game Geezer here. I just got uh, another quick tip video that I wanted to post here, and uh, maybe it'll help some of y'all out. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to show y'all today is how to record or uh, play in a higher resolution on your monitor than your monitor supports. So, uh, what I mean by that is if you go to my display settings here, let's load it up. You'll see I have my resolution at 1920 by 1080, but um, you'll see under recommended it's 1680 by 1050, and that's because that's my actual monitor size. Now, I wanted 1920 by 1080 because that's what I want to record in you know, when I'm playing my games. 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. It just looks better. Now, I'm going to show you how to basically modify your monitor settings so that you can achieve a higher resolution than your monitor supports. Now, it may not work on your monitor. It may uh, make your monitor not last as long as it's supposed to. Um, all kinds of things could happen with this, but my 1680 by 1050 is relatively close to the resolution that I wanted. So I went ahead and I tried this method out <clears throat> and it worked out fine. Now I can record my games and all that stuff in 1920 by 1080. Um, it will make your monitor look a little funny um, because you're modifying resolution. So, for example, on my monitor, you can't see it because it's recording properly, but um, there's about a gap that's like half an inch on the top and bottom uh, where it's not, it's just kind of like a, a black bar that my monitor made and everything looks really fine and, and, and small um, because it's trying to, you know, hit that resolution. And I don't really notice a um, like a benefit for me by cranking the resolution up, but my recordings come out the way I want them, which is my whole goal. So um, I'm able to crank up the uh, settings in my uh, games, you know, to a higher resolution, and then my recordings come out better. I got a nice high-end computer, but unfortunately, I have like a thirty-dollar monitor because it's an old monitor, um, an old Samsung monitor. And I just haven't had the money to go out and go get a fancy, you know, like a um, Rogue Swift monitor or anything like that to complement my tower. And I don't want to spend any money right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing, how to get more resolution out of your monitor than it supports. Now, the way I'm going to show you is with, um, with an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, if you have an AMD, I'm sure there's a way to get it to work the same. But the method I'm going to show you is with uh, NVIDIA. So I got a 980 Ti and uh, it worked for me. I have an old, uh, I think it's a 17 inch Samsung monitor. And uh, basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make a custom resolution and basically see if it works. So if you go and you right click where it says NVIDIA control panel here, you're going to click on this panel and this is going to pop up. Now, if you look over here where it says select a task, um, you should see a bunch of settings like this, a bunch of little blue words that are highlighted kind of like links. If you don't get this here, then you may have an issue where you have a secondary monitor hooked up and this is just like two or three things listed because I had a, a small secondary monitor hooked up and these settings were not available for some reason. But when I went back to my single monitor setup, um, all these reappeared. So that's just something to think about when you're trying to do this. If you have more than one monitor, it may affect the settings bar here. Um, but anyways, you can see here it says 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. And uh, the, native res uh, the native resolution is 1680 by 1050. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to customize. So you're going to click customize. You're going to create a custom resolution and you're going to enter it in so 1920 by 1080 you know horizontal vertical and I left everything else the same 60 progressive 32 automatic blah 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 and um, you have to enable this enable resolutions not exposed by the display you have to enable this and then click OK and then your resolution should pop up here so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to click on it and highlight it, but you're not done. 
after you highlight it, um, then what you need to do is you need to right click and go into display settings. And you have to change it in Windows also. So it'll pop up here. Once you've completed it there, it'll it'll show up in Windows like a like a like it normally would. And then you'll be able to select the higher resolution. And you're probably not going to get any visual benefit from this by doing this, but if you're trying to squeeze better recordings out of your uh, computer and you know your computer can handle it, but your monitor just can't because you have a crappy monitor and you don't want to like hook up a TV or anything you know, because that can be frustrating too. Um, this is a way to do that. And uh, I heard that, you know, through some digging online, a lot of people were like, well, you can't do that. Or some people would be like jerks about it and be like, just go buy a monitor. But it's like, that's not an option for everybody, you know? Not everybody just wants to go spend money just because they sh think that they should, you know? And uh, this is an option for you. So if you just like me and you're in my situation, you have a good computer, but you have a crappy monitor, and you just want to squeeze a better resolution out of it, you can, you can totally do it. It works. Um, it's not ideal, but I mean, I'm, I don't feel like I'm losing anything by doing this. I feel like I'm completely winning and it's great. So uh, I set this to the 1920 by 1080 and then uh, applied it here and then it became stable. And you have to use these together. You have to kind of finagle with it a little bit. Um, I think I had to do this uh, custom one again and then go into Windows a few times, but I, I eventually got it and uh, it, it balanced out and now everything runs at that resolution that I want. Now, um, when I ran my game here, um, Little Nightmares, run this game here. Um, when I first opened my game, my resolution on this game was turned down. Uh, still to the original native resolution and I'm going to explain some things about that in a second here okay so all right so uh, anyways when I originally uh, first changed my resolution from the native resolution to 1920 in Windows when I loaded up this game because I had been playing it for a little bit at 1600 by 1050 or whatever um, so it was still in that setting so I had to go in my game and, sh and up it and it appeared in here the 1920 by 1080 but the very first time that I ran this game uh, and and I changed the setting from 16 to 1920 my I don't know what happened but my computer didn't like it and it went black and I could hear the game noise but my screen was black and I couldn't see task manager or anything, no, escape, nothing worked. And I clicked the power button to turn my computer off because I thought, well, I guess I guess it was it was a bust. And right when I did that, uh, my screen came back and it was uh, showing the task manager and it was like, are you sure you want to shut down? You have stuff running. I hit cancel and uh, the game closed out and I reloaded the game and it had saved my 1920 by 1080 resolution. And now, if I play the game, it runs just fine at 1920 by, you know, you know, by 1080. And uh, that's just something there. So don't get discouraged if you have to play with it a little bit to get it perfect. Um, but now, uh, all my games run at 1920 by 1080. Everything is running at the resolution that I want. I didn't have to go buy a new monitor. I didn't have to hook up a TV. I'm using my Samsung 17 inch that runs at like 2ms. And it's just an old, you know, flat monitor that is okay, but it's nothing great. And um, I didn't have to go get anything. I didn't have to spend any money, and I got what I wanted. And I just thought it was really cool because, I, you know, I used to think that was just it. You know, you were stuck with what you had. And um, most people online will tell you that you're just stuck with what you have. Or you'll have somebody who just says something stupid, like go buy a new monitor or whatever. But you can, you can totally get away with um, raising the resolution. Is it good? No, it's not, probably not good for your monitor to do that, but my monitor was close enough, honestly, to what I wanted anyways, that I figured what the hell, it's an old monitor, and what do I got to lose, really? I mean, I actually have another one that's almost identical to this one, so I figured 
if I lost anything, I just hook up my other one because I have another one here. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, that's that's pretty much how you would do it. So again, those two settings is just you're gonna need your NVIDIA control panel, and then you have to click on change resolution over here, and then just hit customize. Make your custom resolution you cre in the creator here. Enter in all the info. And then make sure to enable this box here. Resolution is not exposed by the display. Just make sure that's there. Select your new resolution here. Just highlight it. And then be sure to go immediately to display settings in Windows and change it here. Um, some of my friends had to do it a little differently to where they actually created the custom resolution here but then selected it in here. See, that's kind of what I mean, like you gotta play with it. And if your monitor will accept the change, it should be okay. It won't accept everything. Like, you know, if the change is too crazy, uh, then it's just not gonna work. But like in my scenario, I wasn't asking for much of a gain, you know, from 16 to 19 and 1050 to 1080. That's not a big, you know, super big gap. So I figured it could handle it. And I took a shot and it did. And uh, that's just something that I think people should know about, that you don't have to go buy a new monitor just because you want to record at 1080, you know? Um, if you have a slightly smaller monitor, or whatever your case is, like, probably similar to mine. So, um, that's pretty much how you're going to do it. You just play with those settings there. I'm sure if you have an AMD, um, you'll have the AMD Control Center, and it'll have something similar where you can probably still make a custom one. Hopefully, um, I haven't had an AMD graphics card in a while, so I can't tell you for certain. Um, and I know this won't work on everybody's stuff or whatever, because every graphics card is different, every computer is different, everybody's got different monitors. But this is just something that if you're already at your point of no return anyways, and you want to just look for an alternate solution, this might work. So it worked for me. And I wish I had known about this sooner because I had been making videos at the 1600 resolution and then um, editing them and exporting them as 1080p files, but they're not full 1080p because my monitor was recording at the native resolution of 1600. So when I recorded them and uploaded them to YouTube, I have little black bars. So it'll play as a 1080p 60, but it's not a real 1080p 60. But now that I've modded my screen resolution, I am getting a real 1920 by 1080 resolution. Um, not visually for me because my monitor is not cranking that out really, but um, on my recordings, my videos are coming out the way I want now. They're coming out pretty. So uh, this is what I would highly recommend for somebody who's got a nice tower, um, but you have a crappy old monitor or maybe not even crappy, maybe it's just smaller. You know, maybe it's just not big enough and you think maybe you can cram the uh, resolution into it you could give this a try and it might work for you so there you have it guys I hope this was uh, a little helpful I know a lot of people like to do those weird uh, videos where they type they don't want to talk or whatever um, I don't like that and I it takes me two seconds I'd rather talk and explain what I did personally and uh, instead of making some little typey video or whatever and um, yeah so uh, don't let anybody tell you it's not it's impossible it's not impossible doing it right now um, it works works good my monitor is old my computer's new but my monitor is really old and it's great so um, like like I said you can see here 1680 by 1050 that was my original uh, setting for this monitor it's not supposed to go any higher but um, I changed that and you probably can too um, change it on yours if your monitor will handle it it will it will adjust and it will display something otherwise it'll say black and there'll be issues and it just won't work and you won't know until you try so go ahead give it a try you know what have you got to lose? I'm sure if it's an old monitor, you probably don't have much to lose anyways, right? And uh, I'm sure even if it fails, you can just reboot. And it'll probably come back and it'll be fine. So anyways, that's just my little, my little two cents there for you guys. 
And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps some of you out who are in my scenario where you just don't want to buy a new monitor quite yet. Maybe you're waiting for a new monitor. I'm waiting for a new monitor. And I just got other things to worry about at the time. And I still want to make my videos, but I want to make them in a real 1920 by 1080 And this is how I'm going to do it. So you guys can give this a try. Maybe it'll work for you. But uh, until the next one, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you later.